Trinity, Trinity, come chat OT on Trinity. Well, Professor, thank you very much for joining us today um, and joining me for some tea. Fabulous. Thank you for inviting me, Rachel. Trinity. I found a woman named Susan Messino online who's also a professor but is not you. Are you aware that there is a woman named Susan Messino who does research on ghost adventures? Ghost adventures I was not aware of. I'm not sure if that's the same person who's also a pretty well-known rock critic, which um, she lives in Madison, Wisconsin. Um, she looks a lot like me, and it's fairly funny because my husband, um, for a long time, was a rock musician and is still a musician, so she's kind of my alter ego we have not met. Oh my gosh. That would be quite a reunion, I think. Maybe you guys are like uh, soulmates, you know, friendship soulmates or something. Now we'll get into your research opportunities. Wow, so um, this has been such an exciting time during my career working on um, the ketogenic diet, which is a known therapy for seizures, um, and it's been used to treat people with epilepsy since the 1920s. And my work with this team of scientists has been trying to understand how the ketogenic diet works and if there are other disorders that it might help with. You've worked with scientists from Sweden to Tokyo to Canada and many other countries and states. How did these connections get made? Is it a Craigslist situation or is it, you know, over some sort of psychology uh, database? Match.com for scientists. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, uh, I think we know each other from reading each other's work in the literature. So you might know that someone has similar interests. They might have read a grant application that I wrote, and they might have been a reviewer on that. And sometimes I've given talks at conferences and then, um, or poster presentations at conferences, and then people will approach you after that. You're obviously a very busy person with your academics, and I'm sure you find time to unwind. What exactly are some things you like to do? I like to get outside, biking, hiking, swimming, any kind of exercise, outdoors type of thing. And I, I know that as a hobby you like to look for wild edible foods. And right. have you found any on Trinity's campus? Yes, I have. There's some edible apple type things on the tree right out there. There's um, chicory, there's milkweed, there's... Um, I don't know, I'd have to take a little walk to remind myself, but I've brought home things that I've found on the Trinity campus and served them to my family for dinner. I, I should get off the meal plan, probably. After this, Rachel, we'll take a walk. Have That's a delicious good. snack, at, at least. A bountiful feast, it sounds like. Speaking of food, what is your favorite type of sandwich? Sandwich? Um, maybe tuna. Tuna sandwich. Tuna. I like the way you think. And what is your favorite band to see in the Hartford area? Oh, that's funny. Well, I'll have to say, first of all, that my favorite band is my husband's current band called Out the Box. And it's a funk R&B band, and they play all around in this area. Is your, is your favorite type of music to dance to funk, would you say? I think it would be funk, old school. You know, we, we like hip-hop kind of stuff as well, but more danceable, old school, and a lot of the newer songs have more of an old school feel to it, so that's been really fun. If you were trapped in any one spot on campus for a whole day, where would this, that spot be? Well, if it was a nice day, I would hope it would be in the garden by the chapel. The Rose Garden is a beautiful spot, for sure. Now, I've actually calculated all of the grants and fellowships that you've gotten through the years for your research, and it's just shy of four million dollars. It's a lot of money, but I've done a lot of work, and it hasn't been easy to get that money. I've had many, many, many rejections, and then just, you know, if there's something that's been a lesson for me, one of the most important qualities, if you believe in something, is perseverance. Just stick on it if it's really something you know is the right thing. If, if your book, Adenosine, a key link between metabolism and brain activity, was made into a Hollywood movie, oh my gosh. what would the trailer be like? <laughs> a lot of diagrams with acronyms that no one could understand, but maybe they could make them flash or something, I don't know. Oh, I can that. <laughs> That's going straight to the Oscars. Would you rather get, brain, get a brain freeze or get the hiccups? Hiccups. 
I think swallowing upside down has cured the hiccups every time I've had them. What is your favorite laugh? Um, well, you know, it's funny you should mention that because my daughter has a really funny laugh. Once she starts laughing, it starts in one octave and then she goes into this hilarious falsetto laugh that's just really funny and she's starting to be kind of famous for it as a matter of fact. <laughs> yeah. No, could you demonstrate that a little bit? <laughs> well, thank you very much, Professor Messino. It was delightful chatting with you over tea and good luck with all of your exciting research endeavors. No, I'm really honored to be here and thank you so much for including me on your show. Anytime, come back whenever you like. Trinity, Trinity, come chat over tea on Trinity.